So today we're going to be taking a look at a package called Open. It is a relatively popular package and you'll probably guess by the name, it opens stuff. So the first command we have right here is just this open here. That's actually the only command we have and we just provide different parameters to get it to do different stuff. So the first thing here is the target. Now this is automatically going to figure out depending on the file extension, what it should open it with. So an image will be opened with an image viewer, a txt file will be opened with a text editor, a link will be opened by a web browser. So you don't have to worry about that. But there's also these parameters here. Now I found that this wait flag doesn't really work for me. If it's true or false, it waits anyways. So I guess for future proofing your code, then you want to go ahead and specify it anyways. But for me right now, it doesn't really do anything. And we can just go ahead and run this. By the way, we have to do this in an asynchronous scope because this is asynchronous code. But if we go ahead and run this command, you can see that the image is loaded and opened in our default image viewer. So the next command here is opening a website in the default web browser. So let's go ahead and run this command. So you can see that this opens Vincent Lab in my default web browser, which is Brave. And by the way, if you want to get a really like privacy focused web browser, definitely go ahead and use Brave. Now I have had a little problem here lately with the wallet, but usually it does work and you actually get paid for watching ads and you're able to give money to the creators that you love watching without actually spending any money because you earn money watching ads and then you can use those money to pay the creators. So I think it's a really, really good system and I am on Brave. I have an affiliate link and I'll leave that down below if you want to go ahead and support me a little bit. It's not going to cost you anything. You don't have to donate to me. Just go ahead and use my link and I will go ahead and get a little bit of cash, which I can go ahead and use to support this channel. But anyways, guys, you can see that this just opens the web page in the default web browser. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next command. Now the next few commands here are websites, the first three, and then the last one is opening a file. But the first three here, I want to talk about the name, because if you don't want to open your website in your default web browser, then you can also go ahead and specify a different web browser. Now, this up here is not going to work. Even though it says it on the documentation, this will not work. You have to provide the exe name. These two will work. I'm not going to be showing you it because I just showed you in Brave. You can probably guess what happens. It opens it in the web browser that you specified. Now, the way you get this exe name is by you just clicking the start menu and then finding the application you want to run. And this will open your programs and then you can go ahead and get access to the link and click here and here the exe name will be. Now this is on Windows and it will be different from Mac and Linux, but at least on Windows, that's the way you get the exe name. We can also open files. So like I said before, this will automatically figure out that this should be notepad, but just to be sure, I am make sure that the application is notepad. So this will go ahead and open the file txt in notepad. And right here on my second monitor, you can see that that opens the file called file.txt. And this can be pretty useful if you want to make some kind of automations, but it works really well and it's a pretty small package. So yeah, there's not really too much more to say about this package. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here and hopefully I see you in the next one.